Hello guys, Salvador here. So I am working on a build for LK5399. This is based on Armion. I am targeting the Rockpy 4C, but it should work on any LK5399. Um, you will need to uh, change the DTB or the device tree to use it on other boards, but that will be come later. Um, so um, I I am adding a lot of stuff and I will uh, show all of them down the road. Uh, most of these uh, features they are present on Raspberry Pi, so uh, you may identify them. Um, we don't have PPU acceleration so far. This is uh, RBM Focal running on, on MATE, uh, and obviously we are utilizing the PAM from Mesa drivers because we are on mainland. Um, while we don't have BPO acceleration, video software, video decoding doesn't work that bad. Uh, they are uh, PPU drivers, open source PPU drivers, uh, going uh, on development, and they are on the kernel, but they are quite difficult to uh, utilize them. But anyway. Uh, I would not recommend to use it this uh, board on mainline. Uh, you can use it on, on legacy kernel with BP acceleration, but on mainline I would not recommend it so far for um, for media consumption consumption because uh, without BP acceleration, uh, after several hours it will get hot. Um, So I include a lot of uh, Box86 or, or X86 uh, related games, like this is the, the latest version of another Metroid 2 remake. I have a minor scaling problem, just Alt in Enter, Alt Intro again, and it gets resolved. So this is running on 1080p, and on Raspberry Pi we have to play it on 720p because uh, it runs uh, quite bad, quite bad. On 1080p, if you use Twitter OS, you know uh, what is the speed on 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 Raspberry Pi. And here we can play it on 1080p, perfectly fine without tearing, almost almost no tearing. So that impressed me a lot of uh, made on Panfrost on RK5399 because we have a an X11 environment or an X environment with no tearing or almost no tearing and that is really impressive. I been using Genome Wayland but I hate Genome. I, I don't like Genome and I I have less tearing here than on Genome Wayland. That is <laughs> that is really weird. So very good uh, impressions this uh, by 4C and well RK399 on at least on, on this setup some like lightweight uh, Windows games like Space Space I don't know how to pronounce the game Space Cadet 3D Pin 3D Pinball how to pronounce Cadet So uh, here we don't have the some problems we have on Twister OS and that is uh, a pulse audio thing. Probably we will fix that on Raspberry Pi 4 when we move to uh, when we move to 64 bit. Civilization 2 it is it is not a, a demanding game, but because I love this game I, I include it on this build and on this video. This one is impressive. We are running on 1080p with uh, 4x anti-alias. This is really impressive uh, performance. This is the same 32-bit uh, um, compilation from that I did on Raspberry Pi 4, 
and because I have multi arch setup here, I, I can execute uh, this emulator. Sorry, it is not an emulator; it is an, an interpreter. But, but anyway, you you know it is residual VM. Gabriel Streetwood, diario personal. A veces cuando todo está en silencio, aún oigo a los monos. Cuesta creer que solo hayan pasado unos años desde que llegué a las playas. So this is Visual Boy Advance uh, M and sorry I don't know how to play the game and I have a lot of uh, input lag from the video capture uh, so maybe we have a bit of team a bit of team here uh, I don't know if it is related to the to the emulator The last one and this one we are utilizing um, XVRC, uh, which is a very intensive CPU um, CPU filter, and it runs really nice on this board. It doesn't use all cores; you can set it to use all cores, but it will produce um, a lot of heat, and you will not gain uh, any performance, at least not on my latest results. So compared to Raspberry Pi, uh, not only we have better performance, but we have uh, way less team, and and that is really important on a, on this kind of uh, emulation, you know. Obviously, you can um, try to run it on with XBRC on um, on Raspberry Pi four on. On the Tropi, I don't know if there is a port of this uh, emulator and you can use XPRC, but this looks really great. And I prefer to run my my desktop games and emulators from the desktop. I, I am not a Retropie guy. I am trying to port Retropi to this um, to this uh, platform. I have it running already. But only for the low end stuff. No, no. At, up to PS uh, PlayStation One, it will run perfectly fine. But uh, don't expect N64. I'm, I'm trying to to introduce an, an standalone version of Moving 64 for this build. Mm, so that's all, guys. I will leave you with this uh, last uh, testing.